Sure, it looks calm now, but in just a few short hours, this place is going to be crawling with clowns, zombies, and just about anything else that people are afraid of. And as it turns out, scaring people is very good business. Halloween is a major, major big business. It's not that bad, but clowns are really scary. I hate jump scares. The clowns. I'm really scared for the Barbie thingy. The mile in your lap, you know, big shoes. I hate the dark, and I, I hate clowns. This has been the area's uh, biggest and most traditional Halloween attraction since it, its inception in 1992. The theme that's going on in these Halloween attractions is multiple levels, multiple buildings, multiple scares. I think it's gotten better since it's got the nine attractions instead of just the three. I liked it. I was scared. Still scared. We'll do anywhere from 20,000 to 30,000 people. <laughs> it's scary. I got chased with a chainsaw. It is way more scarier this year. Ashes, ashes, we all want them out. It's very expensive to put this together. I mean, you know, we, you know we're, we're, we're risking over $200,000 to put on Canfield. And there's a good chance that investment will pay off. Halloween is the second largest holiday in terms of spending. The National Retail Federation says overall spending for 2015 will climb to $6.9 billion. The haunt business has grown incredibly large. There, there are just massive, massive haunts throughout the area. There, a lot of the things that we have in here we built ourselves at our warehouse in Greenford. This is a revolving, what we call a vortex tunnel. This tractor bursts from those curtains, big air horn goes off, strobe lights, blink, 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 and you, know, you almost can't right. stand to walk through here. This projects an image onto that face that makes it look like he's actually talking. And of course, <laughs> and it has a spitter effect that spits water at you also. Lovely. The key are the actors, okay? The actors um, are what bring Canfield together. There's over 160 of them and 15 managers here, so, you know, it's, it's quite a large endeavor. I ran into the wall four times because her. I just like being scared sometimes. Then one girl pulled my hair to come to me and say, help me, help me. What I'm supposed to do. We have a very short window to put all this together here at the fairgrounds because we cannot start until after the fair. How many trips do you think that you take just hauling stuff from your warehouse here to set it up? 20, 20 full semi-fulls. It does benefit uh, the Mahoning County Agricultural Society greatly. I would say it has probably been seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> You'll get girls coming here that their boyfriends are just literally dragging by the feet. The only time I ever jump is when she would grab onto me when she was got being afraid. I, I was really scared the whole time. I was clinging on to him. I had to be the leader, strong provider of the team. When it's all said and done and after they've gone through everything, you know, they're all happy, high-fiving, you know, and just, uh, you know, it's a great, great night of entertainment. To see a reaction that you created on these people is an endorphin rush. As I like scary stuff, kind of. But it's fun because I'm with my friends and it's like it's always better when you're with your friends because then you like make fun of people. I ain't scared no more. 